हरि ओम स्वामी जी वेलकम टू दिक्सटींथ एपिसोड एंड दिस एपिसोड आई वॉन्ट टू यू नो वी टॉक अबाउट इन द प्रीवियस एपिसोड we talked about something which is very important we discussed something of the subconscious mind and the conscious mind uh see if i have to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning to catch a flight right um i keep the alarm i keep the alarm at 2 uh, o'clock but invariably i am already up at 145 even it is an odd hour it is very odd hour 1:45 in the night 2 o'clock in the night going at 3 o'clock but our mind is such that it has the power it will wake you up at 1:45 that is because they say you put it into the the subconscious takes over and it is very powerful i i just want to understand how do you make uh, our mind more powerful how do you use the power of the subconscious regularly because if that is so powerful every deed of ours everything what we talk everything what we say everything what we act upon uh, can get monitored by this subconscious and it could stand as a mirror in front of us uh, how do we use that power yes hari om we don't know the technical side of it but some practical experience when we started watching we have we find that when we start consciously doing something with love and dedication it leaves an impression in our mind and that will definitely come to our rescue whenever we go off the line or when we are subjected to go off the line the first example that came to our mind was when you are deeply suppose you are hearing the podcast attentively you are hearing at that time you are not conscious of your body and and one one mosquito comes or an ant comes and somewhere it touches your skin body immediately you know you are back to your body consciousness so at the subconscious level the previous experience of a bite of a of a mosquito it is registered and kept alive correct so whenever there is a need for it immediately reports to the brain and the brain immediately the stimuli is received and it gives an instruction do something just part of otherwise it will bite you so this subconscious when we found the some by the word subconscious whenever we do anything consciously knowingly not half a set not absent minded it leaves because it is an experience that experience leaves some dent in your subconscious level which comes to your aid whenever there is a need for it this is from the material law as well as spiritual law so whenever i utter a word which should not have been uttered immediately the subconscious will say what did you repair it man so it it serves as a watchdog at the at the vyavaharika level as well also my spiritual level the spiritual level means my my in, inner level okay the the subconscious develop we find in our life that the more we attentively do something the consciously doing mindfully doing it re- registers some deep impact in our of conscious level which will help us in times of need even there is a vibration immediately you will be prompted to repair the damage so so first thing we feel we don't know whether it is technically right or not this is what experience has taught us correct in dealing with men and matters whether we are in the administration or in the ashram or in the visitor we try to bring this based upon not philosophy not by the theories but based upon our own experience that you know suppose you, you are rushing up with the judgment previously we were talking about rushing up judgment this subconscious level you know did you limit it? don't rush no. ah you have seen many people 
we will use to say you know that person is a little short tempered but is a good man when you see the short tempered activity you differ with him you shout but you see the other side so your temper and your tenor and uh, language will become different not that you will keep quiet you see whether they, 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 in, even in administration in any field you will language your language will definitely be uh, not with an idea to wound him but with an idea to impress upon him your standpoint you have to you have to make clear your standpoint agree but yeah. there is a way of doing it duly recognizing the other person so there the subconscious subconscious level what you call memories or what recordings it helps us a lot very very well. we have seen many many instances so when we do anything let us try to do it mindfully conscious mindfully consciously consciously Mind- how do we do that we train suppose when the moment we get up when we fold the bed sheet it is not an a mechanical one we have to train the mind you know when you take the brush when you go to the uh, paste and when you take the paste also apply in it and then you go to the wash basin you open the tap and then you start brushing it as many times as much as possible not thinking about something then you you will you will start recognizing the value of the brush the soap the the the, the paste in your life these are these will have a subtle impact in your in your subconscious level i am what i am because of the factors other than me and slowly we will start recognizing nothing is irrelevant nothing is unimportant nothing is insignificant these all will have nobody is irrelevant nobody is unimportant nobody is insignificant these will have some impact the moment they cross the lakshman rega immediately i will be pulled why did you say like that i shouldn't have used that word so consciously doing helps a lot in getting it registered or impacted in our food, uh, subconscious level which is a reserve which is the reserve one for every time when we knowingly or unknowingly uh, commit something this one immediately comes to our aid uh, and puts us on the rails again there could be so many dimensions this is the one which came up based upon our experience so far so Every- it is also it is also about being in the present not uh-huh. in yeah. the past or the future yeah. in a way yeah yeah that means being mindful yeah, you are right you are right uh, mindfully doing means uh, there is a whole soul attention involved in it normally we are carried away by the excitement of the future or the benumbing yeah. failures of the past and it might it might influence us if that is predominating that will definitely puncture our efficiency level perfection level all those things so when we involve ourselves totally in it we are we are unknowingly not permitting the, the excitement of the future uncertainty of the future or the benumbing uh, experience you had from the past to intervene and spoil your destiny yes it's a valid point it's valid because that is what uh, makes things so important you know they are always in the present right that is why it's called present <laughs> we give a present you know <laughs> very true so uh, anyhow uh, swami thank you so much this is you know this is very insightful very uh, it's a deep matter because uh, i think it guides our life as you said it keeps popping up and telling you beware beware you know yeah, so sure. to to get that beware on a regular basis into our life ah. is important yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is Adio. important Adio. Adio. thank you swami thank Adio. you